Everyone's already inside. Bye, Dad. An explosion rocked the city today. As it happened, we shot in winter in London, which was uh, difficult because we lost our light very early on. And I think when we started, it was three o'clock in the afternoon, no light, it was dark. So one or two of the scenes will be at night when perhaps they could have been in daylight, basically. Um, but that was the look of the film. David Tattersall did a terrific job. We had to move very fast because of our schedule. Um, and uh, we just wanted this kind of gritty, um, feel to the movie because it's a thriller and uh, it's got a revenge plot obviously um, and so we shoot a lot in Ireland uh, so that was the feel of it really. 20,000 pounds for the names of the bombers that's not how we do things here. Hello Mr. Hennessy he's here again. That's five days in a row now. What does he want? His daughter was killed in the bombing. We're all used to Jackie's the thing he does better than anybody else in the world, which is his kind of comedy, his physical comedy. Um, we've all seen the movies and they're all great. Um, uh, and I, I, I must say that um, I don't think any of us, uh, I don't think Kathy or the other producer, none of us were absolutely sure that he could play a straight, serious, emotional role, an emotional dad an aging, uh, you know, a guy at 65 who was, uh, loses a daughter. I mean, there's a lot of emotional weight with that, a lot of emotional baggage to carry. And uh, I'd seen um, a Karate Kid where he's, he's rather marvelous in that, playing a very straight role. And I remembered the scene where he smashes up the car, which I thought was an absolutely unique scene. Um, and I realized then that absolutely he can he can do this, and uh, I must say to his credit, he threw himself into it when he came, and uh, um, he worked very hard at it. But I think when you see the film, you'll be very surprised. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's excellent. Mr. Hennessy, please find out the names of the bombers. I work for the government, not terrorists. You used to work for them. I don't know who the bombers are. I don't believe in you. First of all, Pierce is Irish. I mean, that's number one, which helps. Not Northern Irish, because the accent he has is a Northern Irish accent. If you listen to Jerry Adams, that's what you get. It's pretty much a look-alike anyway with uh, Jerry Adams. But Pierce, I think, is, is, is one of the best things he's ever done. Uh, he threw himself into that role. I remember him saying to me, he was a little worried about the IRA because being Irish and doing a story like this. However, he 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 went into it sort of with his eyes open. And uh, and for once I got some rehearsal time with him before we started, so that helped. And uh, he just found that character. And I, I think it's, um, I think the character, you know, he finally came up with is absolutely fascinating. Kill me on Tuesday. Like he's trained. Bury me on Wednesday. Maybe special forces. More for me Thursday. Stop! She's wearing the blue! Then you gotta let me go. He just wants you to know he can go to you. What is going on? He thinks I know who blew up his daughter. Do you? Everybody liked the movie, which is unusual. But so, you know, the older people, I think uh, it was... Um, <clears throat> It was interesting that everybody should, and I think that's because of Jackie. I think he just brings a gravitas and a kind of an emotional spine to the story that would, you know, another actor perhaps uh, wouldn't. But I think he's also a, you know, he's an icon and people love to watch him. And uh, I think because he's doing something different and he's so convincing in the film, I, I think everybody sort of... Um, uh, 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 absolutely connects with his character. Open it up. 